in the heart of Kenya's highlands, a golden revolution is taking root. Canola, a once uncommon crop, is now transforming agriculture and empowering farmers with a lucrative alternative to traditional staples. With Kenya spending over 160 billion shillings annually on edible oil imports, canola offers a powerful, homegrown solution. This resilient crop thrives in cool climates, enriches soil through crop rotation, and puts more money in farmers' pockets. This is a relatively new crop in, uh, in Kenya, and especially it's mainly in the highland area. And the varieties, the varieties that we have available, the varieties that we have available are Belinda and Hyola. That is the varieties that we have, but they are adaptable to different uh, altitudes. So they can be planted anywhere. Initially, we, uh, we looked for a crop that we could uh, use in our crop rotation program. Mm -hmm. But when we looked at our canola well, we found it's also an income. It gives us better income than cereals. And it's more resilient, especially at this time when the climate is changing and the rains are no longer reliable. And canola can do well even if the rains are not very good. For example, if you look at the crop that we have here, we've had a very little rain in this year. It was a drought season. But you can see we have a, a reasonably good crop. We propagate canola using seed. In one hectare, we put uh, 3.2 kg of seed, and we use a seed drill, the same seed drill that we use for putting, for, for planting uh, barley or wheat. Uh, we use about 100 uh, to 150 kg of DAP fertilizer. So the seed drill will put the seed and the fertilizer at the same time. In this particular field, we didn't do any tillage. We did not dig or plow or do something like that. We practice what we call uh, moisture conservation or conservation agriculture. So we killed off the weeds using uh, uh, weed herbicides. And then uh, we came in and planted the seed directly. And because we did not turn the soil, the soil was able to conserve a lot of moisture. And when we planted, the seeds were able to germinate and we took care of the crop. And that is why we are where we are. Well, uh, you need to have insects that will do cross-pollination in this crop. And as, as you can see, there are a lot of bees in the field. Uh, but that will come in naturally. These bees will be attracted to places where there are flowers. You can see the flowers are, are very bright. You may not need to do any intervention. However, you can put some hives uh, at the edges of the farm so that you encourage bees to come in and they'll help you in pollination. Uh, that will not only help in pollination, but it will also give you another source of income, the honey that you harvest from the, the hives or from the bees. But it's a very easy crop to grow, and its production is good. The market for canola is good, because we do canola under contract with, uh, with Agventure, so there's a guaranteed market. And the price is good compared to cereals at this time. This, this season they're buying canola at 50, 50 shillings per kg. If you've done good farming, they give you a, a bonus of 13 shillings per kg. That's like 60. That is one and a half what we can get times what we can get on cereals. Mm -hmm. So it's a good alternative crop. Uh, if you look at the cost of growing canola and what you get from it, it's quite, the gross margins are very good. It's much cheaper to do than even the cereals. Mm -hmm. The first fertilizer you'll put at planting, I said you'll put 100 to 150 kg of a DAP. Uh, the second spray you'll put just after putting the herbicide, you'll come in and put some other fertilizer. That is about one, 
one and a half months also. Mm -hmm. The other one will come at around three months also. And your crop would be good to go. In this area, because the altitude is a bit high, your crop will be ready for harvesting in about five months. Mm -hmm. But in drier places, low altitude areas, the crop may be ready for harvesting in three and a half to four months. Mm -hmm. In a very good crop, you'll have something like 1.5 tons per hectare. Uh, if you take good care of your crop, you'll have two tons. Mm -hmm. You can get even three tons mm -hmm. per hectare. Uh, market is not an issue because this is contract farming. Mm -hmm. All farmers who grow canola contract with Adventure. Mm -hmm. So there's already market for that. And there are contracted prices, mm -hmm. so there are no market uncertainties. Mm -hmm. Is the farmer gets the seed and takes care of his crop and the, the market is guaranteed and the payment is guaranteed. Mm -hmm. In canola farming, we assure the farmer of uh, three major things. One, the issue of uh, the knowledge and technology transfer. Knowledge that has been tried, uh, tested and tried, and uh, you have agronomists who help you and hold your hand mm -hmm. to grow canola. And uh, they also help you, help you in understanding your soil. Adventure does the soil testing for contracted farmers free of charge. And the last thing, it enables contracted farmers to be able to um, uh, ensure that uh, they, they have a ready market. And that ready market is uh, assured because of the kind of oil that we produce. Canola oil being one of the healthiest oil that uh, you can live with. It's cholesterol free. It's very rich in omega-3, omega-6, omega-9, and vitamin E and K. Conservation agriculture is anchored on three main principles. The principle of minimum tillage, the principle of uh, soil cover, and the principle of crop rotation. One of the biggest challenges facing our farmers is the issue of monocropping. Growing the same crop over and over and over again until our soils become depleted. And secondly, the issue of the soil health is increasingly becoming an issue. And crop rotation uh, is a very uh, potent weapon yeah. in ensuring that the soil health is improved mm -hmm. and the diseases are minimized and the pests are also minimized. So here in Adventure, we reach out to the farmers through training, through a department referred to as the Center of Excellence for Crop Rotation. And uh, the message taken to the farmers is on rotate and preserve your the moisture in your soil. It's not just a crop, it's a key to food security and economic resilience, a national opportunity ready to be harvested. From the fields to the bottle, value addition is unlocking canola's full potential. Pioneers like Pure Mountain are leading the charge, cold pressing seeds into a premium, heart healthy oil that's naturally low in saturated fat and packed with omega 3. 
This innovative process minimizes waste, creates local jobs and provides farmers with a stable market. Plus, valuable byproducts like protein-rich animal feed maximize every harvest. Value addition turns canola into a sustainable economic engine, creating a virtuous cycle that benefits farmers, consumers and the environment. our end stage of the processing. This is where we pack our oil. Uh, but for us to get here, we have to receive uh, the canola seed from the farms. So at the gate, just before it is weighed, we do our quality checks. We take the samples that we take to the lab. Then from the lab, when it goes through, we, we weigh it in through the weigh bridge. Then from the weigh bridge, we actually take it to our receiving area uh, where we receive the seed into our silos ready for processing. From our silos, we have got machines, we have got an auger that actually delivers the seed to our pressing machine. So we have got three sets of pressing machines. So the three machines uh, now extract the oil. So it's a very simple process, it's a mechanical process. We don't do any heating, we just pressurize the seed into the machine. And then out of that, when we crush canola seed, we get two products. We get canola cake and then canola oil. So the cake is what we sell for animal feed, as animal feeds, and then oil is what we now pack and then sell into our market. So this is our packing area. We are actually just manually filling the bottles. Mm -hmm. Then after filling the bottles, mm -hmm. we have got our control sample mm -hmm. uh, that help us check uh, mainly the color. Mm -hmm. So, and the only additive we do here is uh, we do fortification. That's a government requirement. Um, and then of course, we also check the quality of our bottles, the cooking, mm -hmm and um, the whole batching process mm -hmm. up to packaging. Mm -hmm. It depends on very many factors. Mm -hmm. The color can change a bit, mm -hmm. depending on the farm that is, it has come from, mm -hmm. or depending on the plot of that specific farm. So the color doesn't have to be off mm -hmm. as long as the control sample goes with what we are producing. Canola farming in Kenya symbolizes innovation and resilience. This golden crop strengthens rural economies 
reduces edible oil imports and promotes healthier living. With continued support, the canola sector can flourish, providing a pathway to sustainability and prosperity for the nation. For more stories that celebrate and nourish the African continent, be sure to subscribe to the African Farming Journal. Hit the like and share buttons to help our community grow.